Hello, today we'll talk about Open Manager Administrator and how to adjust settings for the BIOS and for a storage controller on a managed node. OMSA allows the capability to display system information, including an inventory of hardware, BIOS, and storage settings. To check BIOS settings, we can expand the options on the left under Server Module, Main System, and then BIOS. To view the settings, we will need to click on the Setup tab. Then we will have the information displayed in a similar fashion as the system's BIOS. As an example, we will click Settings on both settings. Once we're in this section, we will have the ability to change the BIOS settings for the boot menu such as from changing BIOS to UFI mode or vice versa. In this instance, I will change the boot sequence retry settings. To do this, click on the desired setting, such as disable in this case, and then click apply. The setting is saved, but in order to take effect, we will need to restart the system. You can change additional settings by clicking on the Go Back to BIOS Setup page and then change your desired settings. For any setting that you change on this page, you will need a full system restart for the change to take effect. Next, let's take a look at the options under the Storage section. To expand, click on the Storage and then any available controller card. Internal storage and external storage cards will show in this view. In this case, I have a PERC H310. We can drill down farther by clicking under the storage card, then the connector, enclosure, and then physical disk information. Here we can see our physical disks. Operations for the physical disks are available by clicking on the drop-down menu. For example, if you had a physical disk under predictive failure, we can click on the drop-down menu and then set the disk to offline. Once we have the setting selected, we can click on Execute. In this case, I will not change the setting. We can view virtual disk information by clicking on the section for virtual desks. Available task will be available by clicking on the drop-down menu. As an example, if we had added physical desks to expand this virtual disk, we could click on reconfigure and then execute. Our current physical desks will show and any desks that we had added will be available to select. Then we can click on continue to make the desired change for the rate level. In this case, since I did not add more desks, my only option is to switch my rate one to a rate zero. To generate reports at the controller level or to export logs, we can click on the controller card on the left. Then we will need to click on information and configuration on the top. Then we will have the option to generate reports by clicking on the drop down menu on the bottom under available reports. For example, we can generate a view physical disk firmware version report by selecting that option and then clicking on execute. If we wanted to export a log for troubleshooting purposes, we can click on Export Log under Available Tasks on the Controller Tasks. We can click on the Export Log option, click Execute, and then the log will generate under the Windows directory on your installation. You can learn more about adjusting your virtual disk or controller settings by downloading the User's Guide for OMSA or your controller card. That is all for now. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel 